I teach uh, one course for each level of year. So in the first year I teach Introduction to Canadian Justice. We usually have about 250 students in that class. Second year Criminal Code, which of course I brought with me because as I've told all of my students, you must take it with you. Third year is Criminology and Forensics and fourth year is Presentation of Forensic Evidence. I really want them to think. I use the Socratic method more, so I'll stand up and put something out there and then want to hear what they have to say about it. And for the most part, they are very interactive and it creates all sorts of interesting dialogues so that we can all kind of put our minds to what law really means in life and how it's important and, you know, why they should be spending time thinking about it. I think probably, I mean, it would be too, take too long to tell you what law means to me. But what I think it could mean to students, because it touches every part of our lives. I think it could mean to them seeing things that go on in different ways and giving them kind of a critical platform to look at them from. And, you know, just getting to understand how society works when we're looking at it through a law lens. And I think informing my teaching really is um, students. You know, what that seems to engage them, what doesn't engage them, how we can get concepts across. I seem to have been able to explain these concepts in ways that people can understand them. I love the energy from the students, I love the dialogue, I love the creative thinking and just the whole kind of classroom environment uh, here. And uh, so I'm fortunate because I get to teach students, many of them, every year. So I watch their development and then they get to know me. We can have really good discussions. So yeah, it's, it's lovely actually. Trying to get difficult concepts across in a clear way and get people engaged in them inspires me. Taking the criminal code, for example, isn't that exciting? Okay, this is real life soap opera. Okay, so you can read here all sorts of cases about different sections of the criminal code that really happened. So taking real life things that have happened and putting them in a legal context and using them as an instructional tool is very exciting for me. I'm inspired by that. And so I want them to feel confident in who they are and speaking up about their ideas. They don't have to be right, but they do kind of have to own their ideas a little bit. And so, you know, stand up for who you are and what you believe in and be open to it changing because other people have different perspectives. You know, the house of learning has many rooms and, you know, leave here after four years feeling confident about who they are, about what they've learned and about their ability to advocate for their ideas.